So before getting into my video tonight, I just want to give a quick shout out to my good friend Wes Wally, who sent me this device as a gift recently. It's an ISS tracker and he built it himself. And it knows my location and also the present position of the International Space Station. And what we can see there is the current elevation and azimuth from my position in Sydney, Australia. If I move to a different location, I can input the new latitude and longitude and it will then give relevant information for that position. Thanks, Wally. That's fantastic. I owe you one. So here is where's Wally's channel, and he spells the Wally with two ones. Even though he presents as a mild-mannered Queenslander, he really is a steely-eyed flat-earth assassin who leaves a trail of destruction behind him. I know a lot of my subs came here when I was ripping into Flat Out Hero, and if you're wanting to see more ripping into Flat Earthers, then you should sub to Where's Wally. So far, he has destroyed a flat earther called That Guy by beating him into submission, and he even took down his channel. And I've seen him make mincemeat of several other prominent flat earthers. Check out Where's Wally's channel. You won't be disappointed. And this video is actually inspired by one of Wally's own, this moon field rotation project, where Wally shows you how the orientation of the moon varies according to latitude on the Earth. And for that, I made a couple of quick clips just sent to him privately showing how easy it is to demonstrate field rotation on a globe model and also how we can demonstrate another observation that we make in the real world. And that is in the northern hemisphere, the sun and the moon are seen moving to the right as they set. This is the moon setting in the northern hemisphere. As you can see, it is clearly moving to the right. The moon in Australia is moving to the left. And also, when we observe the sun setting from the southern hemisphere, it is moving to the left. This is one of my own videos where I show the sun setting without a solar filter and also with a solar filter. As you can see, it is clearly moving to the left as it sets. And there it is again with the solar filter. So can we demonstrate that on a globe model? And this is something I'm yet to see any flat earther demonstrate with a physical model. So the two demonstrations now are the actual ones I sent to Where's Wally. And even though they're a little rough, they clearly show how this observation can be easily explained on the globe. So please enjoy. So here is a simple demonstration of why we see the moon at different angles from different latitudes around the Earth. Firstly, I have our little Bluetooth run cam. I'm going to position it on the equator. And here you can see what the camera is seeing in the iPad. If I then move north of the equator, you can see the angle of the moon is changing. And if I move south of the equator, again, the angle of the moon is changing. That's just a printout on the wall. So you can see that based on your position on the Earth, the respective angle of the moon can be quite different. And the other thing we can demonstrate with this small model is why the sun and the moon move in different directions as they are setting in opposite hemispheres. Right on the equator, where we have the camera now, as the sun or the moon sets, it is basically moving straight down, as we can see in the iPad image. From northern latitudes, as the sun and the moon set, they will be moving to the right. And again, we can see that in the iPad image. As that moon is setting, it is moving to the right. If I now move the camera south of the equator and repeat the observation, we can see that the moon is now slewing to the left as it sets. And this is what we observe in reality. So even though that was a rough demonstration, 
totally unrehearsed, you can see just how easily the globe explains real-world observations, moon field rotation, and also how the sun and the moon move in opposite directions either side of the equator as they are rising and setting. It is so easy to demonstrate on a globe that even a child could do this. But this is something we are yet to see from the Flat Earth community. When are you going to show us a physical model demonstrating moon field rotation and why the sun and the moon move in opposite directions as they are rising and setting?